well welcome to my channel today's going to be a bit different because this week Sophia revealed what she's been eating for lunch this is Sophia from beat the rush um, she has a vegetarian channel and put together a video of her vegetarian lunch I got in contact with her and said look I'll I'll do the same and let's throw out the challenge to other carnivores to see if they can put together five vegetarian meals. Well, I tried to catch up with Sophia, and that's when the trouble started. In the end, I had to get hold of Interpol. They sent me a picture of her escaping on a train to the Swiss Alps. 24 hours after that, Sophia turned up in another photo, posing as a vet looking after clients' cats. When you have a look at this photo, quite clearly that's not a client's cat. That's Leo. That's Sophia's cat. And take a look at this photo. This cat here, Sophia tried to tell me, was called Brian. Clearly, that's Josie. Sophia's cat. So, what was behind all this, all these shenanigans then? Well, we found out that Sophia was in fact sitting at home in her studio, and somebody else in disguise had taken her place. So I contacted a secret agent. This is the secret agent I contacted. She told me to just get on with the cooking, please. Hmm, okay. Right, and welcome to the challenge. Um, I think I challenged myself um, rather than anything else, but the whole idea is for me to put together five lunches, um, all vegetarian. Now, uh, Sophia from Beat the Rush is... Um, said challenge accepted or I said challenge accepted um, and I'm putting together five lunches all vegetarian so straight away this is what I've made up for Monday straight away I'm in trouble because I've got smoked tuna and fish isn't part of a vegetarian diet so I'm gonna have to think again for this one okay I think I've solved this so what I've done is I've um, boiled an egg, so I've got a boiled egg there, I've got an apple, I've got a no-bake granola bar, um, I will leave the link to that recipe, um, and I've also got a blueberry mun muffin, which I'll also leave a link for that recipe, and I've got a banana, which is quite a nice balanced meal, I've got some protein, I've got fruit, and I've got um, some grains, etc. And I've got the potassium from the banana, so there's lots of good stuff going on there. That will be the perfect lunch. So that's my Monday sorted. Okay, now we're up to Tuesday. So today, for Tuesday, I've got some fresh pineapple that I've cut up. I've got a packet of soup. I've got another square of the granola bar and here is a vegetarian pasta meal with gluten-free penne pasta that I can just microwave and so I'm actually quite looking forward to that one um, that's a that's quite a nice vegetarian vegetarian meal so that's Tuesday let's get on to Wednesday Right, also, I'm allowed sandwiches, so my Wednesday meal is going to be, as you can see, an apple, a banana, cucumber, cheese, beetroot and mayo sandwich. So there you have it. Banana, apple and 
this beetroot, cheese and cucumber and mayo sandwich. Oh, beautiful. I love Wednesdays. So, we're now on to Thursday. And Thursday, I'm going to do a sandwich again. Cheese, beetroot and lettuce. And what I'm going to do with that is... I'll leave it in one piece. Right, so Thursday it is. I've got my, this is a whole grain uh, bread here with lettuce, beetroot and cheese. I haven't put any mayonnaise in this time. Banana, blueberry muffin and my no-bake granola bar. So that's Thursday. Just one more day to go. All right. So here we are on to Friday, last day of the week. I've got a can of fruit salad here, which is pears, apples, peaches, cherries and grapes in juice, not in syrup. Always buy, if you're going to buy canned fruit, buy it with juice. Um, we've got a blueberry muffin, we've got an apple and we've got about a third of a packet of dates. So. That is my Friday, so that is my week. Bon appétit!